For all the latest community news and events, 103.2 Preston FM. Your community, your radio. Anyway, you're with Chat City on this Thursday morning, the 27th of February. And uh, right now, it's nice to welcome um, quite a regular guest these days to us here on Chat City. And it's uh, Dave Bullock. And Dave is the manager over there at Preston Markets. Dave, a very good morning to you. Good morning to you. I, I must admit, and I know I, mention, I know I mention it every time you and I meet, but the one thing that, um, you know, after seeing markets around the country and around the world... The one thing that does impress me about Preston Market is all the activities that take place. Uh, Yes, there's plenty of activities at Preston Market, and I think we're trying to use these activities to actually increase the footfall. You know, markets to some degree uh, uh, do have a battle on their hands, and uh, but but by putting something different on, or trying to put some little uh, extra activities on, you know, we're hoping to attract more people onto the market, and and then obviously use the market as their regular shopping uh, destination. And I mean, it really is a good idea because it's good for the customers, but it's also good for the people who work in the markets. I would imagine. Yes, I mean, we get a lot of a lot of positive feedback from the trade. I mean, a few weeks ago, we had the Chinese dragon walking yeah. around the, the market. And, and I think you kind of, uh, the, the smiles on not only the customers, which is obviously with the priority, but the smiles on traders' faces was amazing. And uh, the number of traders who came to me after and said, that was really, really good. It was good fun. It put smiles on the traders' faces. And, and that particular day, it was one of those awful days weather-wise. And it just, it just kind of brightened the day up. So, yeah, it went down really, really well. That's right. We had uh, quite a few photographs on our website of the Chinese dragon and the day and it was very very colourful so I think I think there are three things happening the first one to talk about is Dolly Dazzler Vintage Event yeah, this is quite uh, uh, very exciting times. It's the first time we've run a vintage fair uh, on, on the indoor market, and what we have decided to do is use uh, the upper market vacant stalls, and we've filled them uh, in conjunction with the operator. Uh, the first event obviously takes place this Saturday from nine till four, and the, the feedback we're getting already is is amazing. Uh, we, we've stall inquiries with customers wanting to know the times. Um, it obviously. I don't know what impact it will have on the day, but right. the feedback so far is amazing. Uh, you know, phones are going every day asking about it, asking about the event. Um, so we're really, really looking forward to it. So when we talk about vintage, is it people in in vintage costume or is it Some vintage of, stalls? It will be vintage stalls. So there'll be a lot of clothing stalls. There'll be jewellery stalls. There'll be accessory stalls. There'll be homeware stalls. And I know a number of the, uh, the the traders, the individuals, will be dressed in costume. Right. So it should it should look good. Uh, um, the, 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 the traders themselves will look good. Uh, some of the early photographs they sent in to me look really, really interesting. So yeah, it's a really exciting day. I'm really looking forward to and, it. And that's beginning this Saturday. That's this Saturday, the first of uh, first of March, and it kicks off at nine o'clock. Uh, it runs until four o'clock, and it's the stalls will be all lo- located on the, what we call the upper level of the indoor market. Right. And then uh, is it Tuesday pancake day? Yeah, Tuesday's pancake day, and uh, we've got uh, pancake making taking place on on the Tuesday and uh, that's obviously Tuesday 4th of March and that's taking place on the lower market in basically in where the food traders are and that's taking place from 10 o'clock until 2 o'clock and we've got f- uh, three um, chefs who are coming in and they're going to be making uh, sweet and savoury pancakes of all kind of descriptions and they're going to be giving away free free of charge to anybody who's in the market so uh, I think that'll attract a lot of attention as well. I mean, I'm sure it will. I mean pancakes, you know the tradition, Shrove Tuesday I would imagine. Uh, I hope they've got plenty of um, you know eggs, flour. eggs and flour and that <laughs> i would imagine it's going to uh, go down really well that on tuesday again the, the traders are excited we're excited about that uh, and uh, you know the fact that we're giving away free pancakes i'm sure will attract a number of folk into the building and again it'll put a smile on people's face it's looking good we've got good feedback again and again it's just trying to encourage more people to use Preston mm. market and the ingredients you can source on the market at the same time and because i mean you are you in a an ideal position where you're situated as well aren't you particularly for people who use the bus station who then come into the city and lots of people come around there how, how competitive is it these days keeping the market going against you know uh, major stores etc retailing is cutthroat as I, I think anybody in retailing is well aware and market traders have a battle on their hands uh, you know the big chains have absolutely phenomenal buying power and mm. basically can buy a field to buy a field of, of carrots buy a field of potatoes uh, of contracts abroad to pull in goods from here there and everywhere the buying power of the big multinationals is, is, is enormous but despite that, 
Oh, Trey's are surviving. Yeah. It's difficult. And, uh, you, you know, you do feel sorry for them from time to time. And that's why, obviously, markets aren't as popular today as they were many, many years ago. But we survived. And, you know, we keep coming up for other ideas. And the traders adapt the ways. I mean, I've got one of the traders who's actually uh, sending fruit and veg to London. Because yes. he's, he's opened, uh, you know, he's going via uh, eBay and, 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 and various ways of selling his fruit and veg. So not only is he selling fruit and veg on Preston Market, but he's sending in fruit and veg to London. It's kind of, so it's he, looking for new opportunities new ways and uh, you know traders are adapt and yeah, times are hard times are difficult but we've got a, a great group of traders who are looking to adapt and change the ways and uh, but it's also continue with that to that service they provide mm. which is key I think that's one of the key issues on the market you know you can have a you can nat to the trader you can have a talk to him you can talk about anything you can talk about where you got the produce from where it's grown and I think that's one of the key issues on the market you can actually have to talk to people as you go and do your shopping and know often if it's plants or as you say it's local produce yeah. but, but that's another important thing that we should remember isn't it that when we shop on markets we're helping people's livelihoods we're helping families we're helping that person to succeed in a business and and that, that's an important thought that there's so many people who have stalls within the market and that is their livelihood Yes, I mean, people quite often turn around and say, you know, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. That's mm. the reality. So if you don't use Preston Market or if you don't use your local market, reality is you're going to lose it. So, you know, I would urge people to shop on the local market, be it Preston or elsewhere, because if you don't support your local markets, then you will sadly lose them. Mm. Uh, you know, and we're trying to get more and more people to use Preston Market, you know, despite all the competition, because if, if people don't use it, sadly, we'll lose it. Right. Well, one other thing that's coming up next week, and that's interesting, it's... Uh, in conjunction with Young Enterprise and apparently a number of schools are taking stalls again on the indoor market to showcase and sell products they themselves have made. Yeah, this is not the first time we've actually been involved with the group called Young Enterprise and the idea behind it is obviously to give young, young people a, a, an opportunity to try business, uh, try and set up a business on, uh, on the market and uh, um, we've got, I think it's all together, about six schools are coming in next week and they're coming in on the Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday and they'll be actually provided with stalls uh, totally free of charge and they'll be selling goods and gifts and, and items what they've made themselves and it gives them a, it gives them pupils and you know some experience of actually you know they've made the goods now try and sell them yes and, and, and it, it, there's an art to sell in and it has a skill to sell in and it, it, it's difficult and uh, when they came in uh, around about the christmas period some other schools uh, some of the displays was absolutely fantastic it was uh, it was amazing i went to some of the uh, the, the tutors who and the teachers who who were actually managing the, the skills and i said these are these are first class uh, they really put some effort into the displays because but part of the art of selling is is display yes you've got to catch yeah. the public you can't, you've got to catch the customer's attention so we're, we're really looking forward to now next week again with the various schools coming in and we'll be giving them advice if we see issues and tip, giving them tips on, on on it but i've also got like a an hidden agenda and you know what i see some of these pupils may in, in future be the you know uh, decide to take up market trading as a living that's right and you you only need to look down the high street nowadays and the, the high street is full of chains and big concerns mm. what their origins were on markets Yes. Um, and, you know, maybe some of them pupils who come in next year, or sorry, next week, 10 years down the road. You don't know the, where they'll be, their the, enterprise the, Yeah, skills. so that's, that's another, you know, we, the market is obviously often seen as like a, a you know, a, a start-up area. And a lot of businesses start up on markets and then over the years they expand and they move, they move on and, you know, uh, and some of the big chains, lots and lots of the big chains on the, on the high street have the origins of market stores here, mm. there and everywhere. So, you know, you sow the seeds and uh, we'll see what, what, um, what uh, uh, springs to life. Well, I, I know whenever I'm on the market, in fact, I was there the other day. That I, there are lots of young people these days when I'm on the market who themselves are on the market because there's such diverse stalls, aren't there? Uh, both outdoors and indoors. And I do some, see lots of young people when I'm down there. Yeah, we have certain stalls. I mean, we, we've, a lot of people turn around and say, oh, it's the, the older end and the, the more mature people who shop on the market. But the reality is a lot more young people are coming yeah, onto I the market. That. Yeah, I mean, we've got a stall on the upper market what does all the uh, air extensions, That's all right. the body piercings. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, it, it's, it's not now um, one of the busiest stalls in the indoor market and it's attracting a completely different clientele now 
you know, hopefully you'll saw again. It's like you saw the seeds. You get them, you know, to visit the market, and the next time they might go and you know pick up the fruit and veg for the mum and dad, and, and and that type of issue. Or they'll go and pick up a mobile phone cover or or whatever else. So yeah, we're trying to encourage younger people to get back to shopping on your local market. That's right, and and have a look at the things you can actually find there that you can't find in the shops. Yeah. And uh, I often do that, find things on the market and in Dole Market where I can't find what I need in the shop. So they. Uh, so Dave, so that's uh, Saturday, it's the vintage, it's the vintage stalls this Saturday, it's pancake day on Tuesday and uh, the schools are coming in the, is it Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday next week that's I think correct. isn't yeah. it, yeah. from uh, 10 o'clock until 3 in the afternoon and they'll be located at various positions around the market. So Dave, can I thank you once again for coming into Preston FM? It's a pleasure. If you've got news, views or events you'd like to share with us and the Chat City team, why not give us an email? Chatcity at preston.fm.